Homework 7 for my COSC 1436 class is starts with the game of hangman, but then you put your own theme on top of it. And so here are some example student programs from the past. Now, I've removed their name from the introduction screen, which you should put that on there. And uh, so the game starts with an introduction screen just like this. Yeah, you can use ASCII text, just Google ASCII text, and it allows you to uh, create some ASCII text you can copy and paste. And then you should also have a little background information about your program and press enter to begin. So now uh, this is the main loop of the program where here's the ASCII art and the um, so you can you know, it should match your theme some way or another. And I encourage students not to go overboard on the ASCII art. Lots of students will find some ASCII art online that's just huge. And, you know, it's like maybe three or four times as tall as this one, and it won't fit on the screen. So you have to reduce your font, and then nobody can see the actual game down here. So, uh, so try to... Uh, keep your ASCII art, you know, a decent size. Probably that's about as large as you'd like to make it. Um, so anyway, so this is the phrase we're trying to guess. Uh, hit points. You, so you basically get six tries in your guess. Here's the letters remaining. And I'm just going to guess some incorrect letters, I assume, just see how the game plays. I'm going to do a Z. Okay, and so notice, uh, so I lost hit points. Then also it took away the Z here. And also notice the ASCII art changed it a little bit. And so uh, the sun starts coming up. So you've got to guess the phrase before the comes, sun comes up and melts the snowman. So uh, I'll do some other letters. I don't know. I'm just going through the alphabet. You're on thin ice. I'm not doing very good, am I? Oh, I got a couple of T's. Okay, so anyway, so there's the game over. Okay, so there should be two... There should be a losing screen, which is this one, and also a winning screen. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and show some other programs. And uh, this one is based on Harry Potter. Um, and again, some really nice ASCII text right here on the first screen. And so here's the ASCII art, a castle. And so you try to guess the letters. Let me move it up just a little bit. And uh, I'm just going through. And so here, the ASCII art, when you uh, guess incorrectly, I guess the Dementor, I think that's what they call it, starts getting close to the castle. I'll just guess some probably wrong letters. Uh, so I'm not doing very good, which is okay. And so here, again, is the losing screen. I'm not, I'm not spending the time trying to win these games. So you can't see the winning screens. Okay, so another one. This one is uh, based on SpongeBob. And so anyway, you can see the ASCII art here. I forgot to read the first screen. So just giving you some ideas. And then the last one I was going to demonstrate is... So this one is um, well-known dance moves. Put on your dancing shoes and come boogie... On my guessing game. Oh, by the way, uh, adding music or sound, I only know how to do that if um, within code blocks. You can do it within Mac also. If you're using an online compiler, I don't think that it is possible at all. I don't think. Okay, so anyway, so here's the ASCII art. And so you try to guess a letter. And if you guess an incorrect letter, then what... Uh, they're doing is they're making one of the people on the dance floor disappear. So one just disappeared. I'll do an X. And so now you can see another one disappear. I'll do a J. And so they're disappearing. So anyway, so that just gives you some idea. Actually, I want to see the ending at, uh, losing screen on this one. So there's, oh, I'm not done yet. Uh, okay, so that wasn't very much of a losing screen, so you could do better than that, hopefully. So anyway, there's a few ideas that you can 
start with the hangman game and make it into something a lot more interesting.